So in this video I'll be showing you how to disable the Microsoft Office 2013 cloud sign-in. So if you've bought a new version of Microsoft Office you've most likely got version 2013 and this comes with a cloud sign-in option which allows you to sync files with your live ID and what this means is you can access your files from anywhere by saving them to OneDrive. So lots of people have asked how to disable this because once one person signs in the next person has got to uh, sign out and sign back in again. So in this video I'll be showing you two easy methods of disabling the cloud sign-in. So in method one, this is probably the easiest option. In this method, I'm going to be showing you how to use the program that I've just written to disable the cloud sign-in. So if we close Microsoft Word or any Office programs you're in, and return to the desktop, and then click the link on the screen now, and that'll take you to my website, which is benstechtips.com. And from there, if you head over to the download section, and you'll find the file Office 2013 Disable Cloud Login. So if we click that, and you'll be shown the following screen. I'll also put a direct link in the description below and on screen. So as you can see, I've written this program particularly for people who have requested it. What it allows you to do is it allows you to disable or enable the Cloud Login module of Microsoft Office, and it also lets you enable Organization Logon, which is when you're within a domain-based environment, you can enable or disable that as well. And obviously there's a couple of disclaimers and reproduction information. So once you're ready to download the file, just head over to the download button and agree to the terms and conditions. So the file will be downloaded as a zip file, as you can see here, and inside that file we've got a .exe file. Now for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this uh, file onto my desktop I'll scan it with AVG. So if we scan it with AVG, as you can see it says no threats detected. So going back, if we extract this um, folder with 7-zip and go into it, so the application is about 250 kilobytes in size and you'll get this little blue logo which is the logo of uh, my website. So if you open it, you'll be showing this screen. And as you can see it says Office 2013 Cloud Login fully enabled. So at the minute Cloud Login is on. So as you can see if we go to Word it shows the sign in to get the most out of Office link. And also if you try and save we have the option to save to OneDrive. So what we can do is we can disable this and that is done by clicking the first option. Obviously there's another few options here but for now we're going to go for the Cloud Logon Disabled button. So the program shows us this following message and it says the option will completely disable Cloud Login and it will also disable saving to SkyDrive or now OneDrive in Microsoft Office. Would you like to continue? and for now we're going to click yes and we're going to let it just do its thing, it takes a few seconds and then we get the message that it's been successfully applied and if we hit OK as we can see the status has changed to cloud login disabled so if we head over to Microsoft Word obviously we have to restart Word to see the changes and there's no login link at the top because it's been disabled in the registry so if we hit blank documents and try and save, we don't have the option for SkyDrive or OneDrive anymore. So the same goes if you want to re-enable Cloud Login. To do this we'll click the button at the bottom and that'll say do you want to enable it and we're going to click yes. And it takes a few seconds and then we'll click OK. So then we can restart Microsoft Word and see the changes. And obviously now we've now got the save to OneDrive option uh, returned. So if you like this program, remember to click donate now and donate. And next what I'm going to show you is method 2. So in method 2 we can use the registry to disable the cloud login. 
And again, this is a very easy method. So as you can see, I've reset Microsoft Office to show the sign-in page. So if, if we exit out of Office, and we're going to hit the Windows logo key and R, and that will show the run window. In the run window, we're going to type in regedit and hit enter. And we'll get user account control telling us that we're going to make changes. And we're going to hit yes. So in the registry editor, we're going to go to HKEY current user software. We're going to scroll down to Microsoft. We're then going to scroll down to Office 15.0 and then Common. We're going to right click on Common and click New Key. Here we're going to type in Sign In with a capital S and a capital I. Make sure you've got the capital I here as well because otherwise this method won't work. So in here on the right hand side we're going to right click, go to new and create a DWORD 32-bit value. For the value we're going to call it sign in options with a capital S, I and O. So we're going to double click on here and enter the value 3 and click OK. Make sure we're set to hexadecimal and hit OK. So now we're going to go back to Word and we can see that it's now disabled the cloud sign-in and again the OneDrive save option. So if you like this video please remember to like, rate and subscribe.